everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, so we are at Repticon. We are at Repticon in Tampa for today. Um, my goal for today, I'm gonna see if I can show you all around a little bit in here. I'm not sure how it's a little busy, but I am here today to find a Pac-Man frog. Um, unfortunately, my Pac-Man frog of over nine years passed away. Uh, it is very, very sad. Rest in peace, poor Mango. But I am here today to find hopefully a new frog. So we'll see. We'll see what we can find. All right. So I have already taken a zip through this place and I have already gotten myself a friend here. This is a little matcha Pac-Man. He's so cute. But we are gonna take a closer look at everything now. I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss out on what I was specifically looking for. Get all our feeders. I'm gonna have to come back over here for some crickets and some worms. But let's take a look around here. See what we have. There are a lot of snakes. It's pretty typical, but there are beautiful snakes here. He's cute. I had a really pretty albino previously and he lived a very long time and I miss him so it's time. <laughs> what are you doing? That's what I think. Yeah, the pastel. That's what I think she's gonna look like. What do you have? This is who we're looking at by the way. Right here. You can move the cups around if you want. I have plenty of animals, just not plenty of food. <laughs> Set that on your seat, don't sit on it. Oh no, maybe more. Actually that yeah. We'll see the difference the firefly. Um, I don't know, she's got a lot of that, but a lot of that too. Maybe THI or something else. Something else in the Yeah, I think that's what it says. <laughs> that's what it says. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's got the same she's light also color. Possible, and with the, the goldness of uh, the firefly and this yeah. one, it's a good chance she's had a cloud. Yeah, but see, her head light like mine too. That almost, yeah, it looks. Yeah, that one's pretty. Yeah, now we're at cold blooded sensation. <laughs> It's a really, really pretty sign banner that they have here. Feed your passion. Purples, custom creatures. And I have some beautiful, beautiful snakes here. You're doing great. I love that. Aww. I love the positive messaging. This is cute. This is cute. 
I like it when my oldest daughter comes to work with me because that's what she does. Yeah. She does all the writing. That's adorable. <laughs> that's cute. Thank you so much. That's so cool. They got little incubators. Mid Florida displays. Very nice. This shop has different types of like taxidermy. They have a ton of like beautiful butterflies, snakes. They even have bats here. It's really, really neat. Beautiful. What's your uh, company? Butterflies and things. Butterflies and things. These are beautiful. Thank you. You're Fantastic. Is that a Luna? Luna mask? Yeah. I believe so. I could be wrong. Just fantastic. So say reptile shows aren't just, just for reptiles. You get all types of really neat stuff like this. Those are really cool. The butterfly wing earrings. Wow. This up here. I love all of it, but that's really neat. Whoa. over here earlier admiring some snakes. I really want to get a ball python. It's purely the, the only reason I don't at the moment is space. I don't have the room at the moment for a really nice setup just yet, but I would love to get one eventually. Oh my gosh. I really love the yellows, but over here, I am a huge, huge fan of these. Beautiful. So he's gonna do it this kind of fly So pretty. Hopefully someday. Here. 
have their information in case anybody sees anything they're interested in. But definitely come check out Repticon Tampa. Take a look. There are some beautiful, beautiful animals here. All right. Hello. Hello. Next we have Midnight Exotics. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's take a look. Look at the shed. It looks like my hoggies shed. these little crochet turtles I actually just started crocheting myself and uh, we'll have a video up pretty soon of that process but super cute super super cute beautiful all right we now have some more beautiful leopard geckos now this is being filmed on Saturday um, the show does continue tomorrow, so I'm going to try to get this posted tonight. So if anybody is heading to Repticon Tampa tomorrow for Sunday, make sure you come check all these animals out there. Beautiful. So nice. Pretty. Oh. Everyone's like, no, no, no. Yes, look at that pose. It's like, come by me. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. Classy. Alright, we have Marty's more. There's a lot of vendors, so I'm not sure how closely I'm going to be able to look at everything for you all. Without running out of space on this cell phone but can see here but we have some nice natural light in this part of the room so really works in their favor looks nice playing in here now so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to keep filming we're gonna have to see all right 
we're still at the same spot, but we have some different little setups here. Thanks again. Appreciate all that help. Enjoy the show, man. No, you know, please. Any questions? Because I'm hoping you need time. So you can text that. Okay. Oh, pretty girl. Hi. <laughs> so cute. I really like these. I like the visibility from either angle. Like that. Really, really like these setups. How are you today? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Let's see if we can. There we go. Them. So they're like more. Yeah. They're like the sand. <laughs> so dog is closer. We need to have for her at least like this side. <laughs> now we have murderous morphs. Yeah, well, they get a good size. Because yeah, when you get them at your baby, you're like, how big is this actually? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I feel like it's really hard to get them past the first like, couple grams, too. Like, yeah. after they hatch, like, they just stay so small, and then they get, like, eight grams, and then they're like, okay, I like food. Big babies over here. I'm surprised it's sold. I'm a sucker for bananas. Plus pie, it's just even better. You're beautiful too. Pretty baby. 
I was laughing at this this little friend down here. He tried to pop me on the side and he's like, Where are you? So pretty. <laughs> it's like a, a damp, it's like a damp towel. So they clean off it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Look how many snakes we have over here. So next we have it's like constricted reptiles, but we'll get over there. And confirm so there are way too many to go one by one here um but i mean clearly we have some beautiful animals here again i i would like them all honestly all right let's see now we can see their sign a little better there we go Wow. I kind of can believe that because it's such an isolated population, but I can also believe the blackout cells. We have some really pretty corn snakes. Yeah. It makes sense that they look crazy. They almost look like they're not when they're non outcast and they get too close. Right. See, I can believe that because of isolation, but not that everything out there with a bunch of alternates or whatever it must be a black one because it looks like it. But then look at moths, they're everywhere. Oh yeah. Right. I saw some red a, They have a big range. Like, a lot of people you know, were telling me. Alright, now we have King James Exotics. Some more beautiful snakes. zip through but we have a lot of little snakes here a lot of little corn snakes Ooh. lots of various snakes here Backyard. 
on this one too. She's shy, that's all. in the cup holders? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm trying to, I was going to see what I got. I'm getting Three good. sizes. This size, this size, and this size. If you're buying a combo somewhere, if you have a, even if you already paid for it, they usually will let you switch out something. Oh, okay. So this is the best cup holder on the market. It's magnet. It's very strong. The battery is dying on my phone. Uh, we have a zoom mat here. I got to go see these hog noses real quick over here. So we have part four hog nose from Tampa. Let's take a look here. We've got some beautiful hobbies. And of course, a couple of milk snakes down here, too. The lavenders. I miss when my hobby was a small. Unfortunately, my camera, my phone in general, is about to die, and I do not have a charger on me, so we're gonna see how quickly we can look at some other things in here. Here we go. We have some beauties here. So yeah. I don't have too many of these here today, so this is this is where you're gonna want to go if you come to Tampa. Regal jumpers. They have the cutest little setups, little scooter habitats here. They're fantastic. I would absolutely love to have one of these. Oh, that's the Pikachu. Okay. Oh, no, that's Evie. Evie dresses Pikachu. They have their little scooters in here. He's got a little worm. Look at the next one. It's not Pikachu. Oh, look at the Jurassic Park backpack. Right here. Oh, that's yeah, so cute. Cute. Here. You saw the mummy dinosaur hanging on it too? No. Did you see These are... Blue ones. Where? Amazing. I did blue one. There we go. This is their business card. These are boys. 
What makes me really happy is that there are a lot of people here with their kids that are really excited about spiders. I mean, look at that. So cute. And it's nice to see that there's more appreciation for spiders, that people aren't just telling their kids that they're gross for no reason. And it's nice to see that they're being appreciated more and more. I don't kiss my geckos. I love my animals. I give them all. Look at this boy. He's so cute. Alright, and we have Expecto My Gecko now. I bought my mail from them originally. Uh, my Jack, who has been in a couple of videos before, but I'm going to have to make more of him. Uh, he has been such a healthy and really, really beautiful gecko. So I highly, highly recommend this breeder here. They have beautiful, beautiful geckos. My battery is almost dead, but I had to show them off before that happened. So there you go. Ivory blue tongue here, thirty five hundred dollars to go. Beautiful. So nice. Even I paid over there with a The prairie dogs in there, this one underneath as well. We have our skunk. Indeed, the kangaroo. Oh my god, he's so cool. <laughs> How much? Like, he's not yeah. How much? Like, all right. So it is later at night now. Unfortunately, my battery did die at the reptile convention. I am really sad. I did not get to show some really cool stuff that was there. Uh, they had axolotls. They had like a lot of different things. So I do apologize if you know if you're a vendor watching this and I didn't get to your table to show you, um, or you know if you attended and your favorite person was not in this video. I am so sorry. Um, I promised I tried my best, but it is what it is. And I'm hoping that I get at least got some pretty cool footage of some of the beautiful animals that I saw there today. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, I did get myself a sweet little matcha Pac-Man frog. Um, unsexed at this point, it's too small, too young to know for sure. Um, but yeah, a little matcha Pac-Man and uh, he or she is now named Fizz, short for Fizzeroli. For anybody who is a fan of Hell of a Boss, you should know who I am talking about. Um, reason for that being, I love that character and I associate him with that color green. I feel like that was really prevalent in a lot of his artwork. And the cutest thing of all is that Ozzy, Osmodius, I uh, have one of his little nicknames for Fizz is Froggy. So it just it just worked out that way. It made sense to me. I thought it was a really cute name. It fits. Uh, so I do have Fizz at home. I've actually already been home. I got him. I'm going to call him a him for now, but we'll adjust as we know for sure. Uh, but for now, we have set up his home. Um, he's so tiny and cute and, and even like the water dish I had, the most shallow dish is about like this deep and still was a little steep at the edges and I don't want to risk any drowning or anything like that and him not being able to get out and getting stressed. So what I had to do is I actually use um, a larger gravel type, it's a little heavier, uh, that is at the bottom of the water dish now and kind of brings up that level so that the water is only just teeny bit like over the tops of that gravel uh, so that way he won't risk drowning and can comfortably get in and out if he would like to step into the water for some extra enrichment um, and so far so good uh, it is going to be a bioactive setup I'm pretty excited about that and I already have some um, 
Pac-Man safe plants that will do well in different lighting situations that I'm going to have to test out in that tank to see for sure what'll work and what won't. Uh, Pac-Mans are hard because they are kind of heavy bodies as they get bigger and they like to push themselves down into their substrate and kind of burrow in there and so they can be a little destructive when it comes to up uprooting plants and things like that. So you got to get something a little sturdier um, from my experience. So we'll see. We'll see what we end up using. Uh, but I'm so happy. I love him. Um, and I really, really want, I mean, I already wanted, I think maybe I mentioned in the video, I love the regal jumping spiders. I've wanted one for a while now. They're, they're so cute. And those setups they had today were phenomenal. They were so beautiful. And I, I have decided that the next time I go to an expo, if they are there, if that, especially if that vendor is there, you'll, you'll see them in, before this point in this video, I will be buying a regal jumping spider and set up from you because the, those are just gorgeous, beautiful. Maybe they'll be at Daytona. I'm kind of curious. I might have to reach out and find out for sure. So that's coming in August and I do plan on going. So we shall see. Um, but yeah, I had a great time today. Lots of great vendors, lots of beautiful animals and yeah it was great it wasn't too far from where i live about an hour and 20 minutes and we made it there in about 45 minutes from where we went um from where we started but yeah but excellent excellent day i had fun if you went today what did you think did you get any cool new animals or any supplies i had to i had to buy some supplies today i got myself some snake aspen i got myself some um substrate for my fizzeroli my pac-man frog and some food and everything like that for him as well so i did pretty well and the prices were really really good on the supplies they overcharge at a lot of like pet stores and those types of places um so i tend to try to buy at these expos when I can because the prices are usually excellent so um but yeah if you went today did you get anybody cool any any supplies anything like that and if not do you plan on going tomorrow Sunday uh or maybe next year maybe you've never been to a reptile expo at all before and maybe this has piqued your interest but highly recommend it if you are into reptiles amphibians uh tarantulas all types of stuff like that hey we even had a skunk in there today i think i got a cup of that skunk and a kangaroo and there was a porcupine there and yeah so <laughs> you just never know what you're gonna see anyways i hope you all are staying healthy and happy and i will see you all again very very soon if you are new to this channel and you like reptile expos i have one or two other vlogs from years past uh, expos and I do plan on going and vlogging at Daytona as well in case you want to see uh, and that's all all right have a good one everyone